Okay. Righto. Uh, good afternoon. So uh, yesterday police arrested a 28-year-old man in relation to a serious assault of two people on Sunday afternoon uh, where uh, the two uh, were alleged to have been stabbed a number of times by the offender. As a result of that uh, report of police, police attended the residence and the offender um, ended up in a pursuit with police uh, across the northern suburbs before police had to um, stop the pursuit. And then after that, uh, a number of serious investigation members were involved in the investigation to uh, identify and apprehend the offender. As a result of the work that was done and the engagement with the community through media, um, as a result of that, we were able to identify a residence in Alloa where the offender was found yesterday afternoon or late e early evening. And police, uh, as a result of an operation there, apprehended him safely from that residence. I understand a drug operation located inside the New Mulcahy house. Would you be able to tell us a bit about that? Look, the investigation's still uh, underway. The, a number of items were identified and, and seized during the course of the examination of the crime scene. And it's likely that the offender will be subject to further charges in relation to things that we found at the premises. Regarding the Alawa arrest, you said he was located in the house. Do you think there were people known to him? Uh, yes, the people were known to him, but he didn't reside there and they didn't want him at that premises. Do we know if there was a video out against him? Was it blocked? No, I can't comment on that. Um, Sorry. In the, in the arrest last night, TIG took part in that. Was there concerns that he was armed? Yeah, certainly. So uh, as a part of the, obviously, the investigation and the seriousness of the attack on the two men that was unprovoked, uh, police formed the view that he was a high-risk offender and then we needed to ensure the safety of the public by ensuring we had the most trained, experienced people to apprehend him safely and to protect the community. I understand that the two men attacked were in same-sex relationship with the police. Looking into whether this is a hate crime bill. Uh, no, there's no evidence to say anything of that at this stage. Uh, yes, in the sense of they were neighbours and they uh, would obviously cross paths between them living in that same residence. Um, what do police believe happened at this stage? Why would neighbours get to know? Why would a man stab his neighbours? Look, it's, it's really unclear. Um, from, uh, from the investigation so far, it appears to be completely uh, un, unprovoked and that uh, the, the victims of this crime uh, are certainly... Um, uh, innocent parties in this and they had no uh, engagement with the offender prior to that attack. And they all live in the same apartment block, is that right? Yes, that's correct. Do we believe he was under the influence at the, same, um, at the time? Look, we're obviously uh, investigating this as a whole and uh, that may come out in the evidence later on, but um, certainly that's a consideration. So he will be likely to be charged later this afternoon and appear before the court. Um, police will be uh, certainly strenuously refusing, uh, challenging bail in relation to this. He will be charged with two counts of attempted murder, uh, two counts of serious, uh, causing serious harm and a number of other traffic offences in relation to the pursuit post the, um, the incident. Can I just ask about the pursuit? Where did that go from and end? Look, I haven't got the full details of that, but certainly uh, when he left the house uh, in Muirhead, he, um, he was uh, driving dangerously and police attempted to pull him over, but for the, the safety of the community, the police withdrew that uh, pursuit and uh, then obviously utilised all their investigative powers and uh, ability to track down the offender. And when the arrest took place, was he found to be armed? Were there any... Um, I know the release said that there wasn't Look, in, in the circumstances as such, we treat all people um, in, in uh, this environment when uh, we know that they've committed a serious violence offence, that we always treat them as if they were, ar were armed. Um, I don't have any information at this stage that suggests he was armed at that point of arrest. Whereabouts is his car? I understand he arrived at the Alloa premise by foot. Uh, look, I know that the car that he left the, the house in, in Muirhead, has been seized by police and another location. Um, you expect him to face court tomorrow at this stage? Uh, it's likely at this stage he won't appear before uh, tomorrow morning. Um, the CCTV is pretty confronting. Has this reached an 
Well, I think <coughs> now that it, um, it certainly will be before the court, but the, it clearly shows that it was an unprovoked attack and it's, um, you know, we're very fortunate and the victims are very fortunate that they weren't killed in that, in that event. Um, you know, certainly, and, and I want to acknowledge the fact that, um, that the community provided some great support and assistance in identifying where this person was and we were able to bring it to resolution as soon as possible to protect the community. Condition last night. Today they were discharged. Is that right? It's my understanding that uh, yes, they have been discharged, but they'll be obviously on, with ongoing medical treatment. 